Hello everyone, Lunar here, back with another Lords of the Fallen quest guide video. Lots of people watched the last guide for Byron and Winterberry, and in this one we are going over the quest for Gerlinda and Sparky. It's not a super complicated one, but it is how you upgrade weapons, and also there is an achievement and trophy tied to this which is missable, and the rewards you get at the end of the quest are also one or the other, so it's important that you make the right decisions. You start the quest when you find Gerlinda trapped in a cell in the lower mines area of Pilgrim's Perch. If you've made your way through the level already, you can take the elevator down from the Vestige of Blind Agatha, and then you drop down here and defeat the enemies and one of them will have the cell key. Use it to free Gerlinda, and then you can travel back to Skyrus Bridge where she will set up shop together with Sparky, and you can now upgrade your weapons here. After all this is done, you can talk with her and she will ask you to help retrieve some items, or specifically tablets, that contain valuable runesmithing secrets created by Sparky. Sparky has been enslaved by Gerlinda and is wearing manacles that keep him from fighting back. Sparky refuses to tell you the location of the tablets, but Gerlinda insists that if you help her retrieve those, she can help you in runesmithing and even expand her inventory. So after exhausting her dialogue and seeing what she has for sale, then you are tasked with finding three ruins. The first rune is the cracked rune tablet found within Fitzroy's Gorge. This will unlock the ability to add runes to your weapons. In Fitzroy's Gorge, you enter into these caves here, and the cracked rune tablet is found next to an NPC called Drustin. The chip rune tablet is found in a house in Upper Calrath leading to the Sunless Skein. This will unlock further rune options for you. After defeating the Spurn Progeny, you unlock the Vestige of Dawn, and you can follow the path into the city until you reach your house, where the ruin is inside of the fireplace. The last one is in the Tower of Penance. You can't really miss it. All you have to do is head to the bottom of the tower once you're inside, where you land on the metal grates, and there is a chest with the tablet inside. Return to Gerlinda and Sparky, and you can hand over the tablet. Now, when you give the final rune tablet, you have a choice to make. Sparky tells you that he only dreams of his freedom, and if you give it to Gerlinda, she will have no use for him anymore. And if you decide to give it to Sparky, and he'll be able to free himself from his manacles. As a reward, he will grant the ability to perform runesmithing at Vestiges now. However, this will anger Gerlinda and her prices will double. But you will unlock the achievement or trophy called Travels Resumed. If you decide to give the tablet to Gerlinda, Sparky will disappear from your world forever after you rest at the Vestige, and Gerlinda will reward you with the Crafter's Essence. The Crafter's Essence is a rune that lowers a weapon's weight and stat requirements to zero, and it does the same for shields, but you only get one of them, so you'll have to make sure you pick the right weapon before you equip it. And I decided to go with this option because the rune will come in very handy, and I sided with Gerlinda. However, the achievement and trophy will be missed if you decide to go with her. So you will only unlock the trophy and achievement if you decide to side with Sparky, unfortunately. But the choice is yours. I'm going over all the NPC quests in game as best I can. They are all very missable and have multiple steps spanning across the game, and I'll try to go over all the NPCs. Many of them end at Bramus Castle, so all the guides will kind of be done at the same time, but I've done about 90% of all the guides, which there are about 12. So like and subscribe for more Lords of the Fallen quest guides, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.